All right, let's do this. Hey, what's up guys? This is Ken for TalkAndroid.com and today is a very exciting day because we finally got the OnePlus 5. I say finally, it literally just got announced like maybe a few days ago. So yeah, anyway, they jumped the gun, they sent us a, uh, a phone and they, they went all out. I got a whole kit with it. Uh, I could do just a normal unboxing, but I was like, hey, why not go all out, give you the full experience and let you see what I'm seeing. So without further ado, doing it a little bit differently this time, this is the the OnePlus 5 box unboxing, unbackpacking, unbagging. Or I guess the other way around since it's the OnePlus 5. So yeah, this is the, uh, the bag that is encasing our uh, OnePlus bag. You can see the uh, OnePlus branding down here. Uh, this is a nice gray with a uh, navy blue and uh, like an orange brown finish on the, uh, on the sides there. So that's pretty cool, I like it. But yeah, let's uh, crack this guy open. And uh, inside, we have got our, our nice subtle black box here with the uh, OnePlus branding. And within here, ta-da, OnePlus, never settle. So yep, there's our actual uh, OnePlus 5 box there. And then, uh, yeah, they send us some accessories too. Um, looks like we've got a few different cases. Yep, four different cases. So it's like we've got the uh, like carbon black finish uh, and a couple of wood grain ones and then looks like a, a flat black one. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, so here we are in our more uh, traditional view. So we've got our OnePlus 5 here, and we've got our uh, cases laid out here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got in here. Uh, just taking a look at the box here, we've got our um, usual minimalist white box. Uh, this is dual camera, clearer photos. Uh, this is the same thing on the other side here. Um, and our little red OnePlus really stands out there. So very nice box. Let's go ahead and um, let's break this thing open. Eh. Eh. I have no idea why I was holding that knife like that. All right, Some, somebody on the internet is going to make fun of me for the way I held that. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna take these out of the way here so we have a little more room to work with. Um, and this is the uh, 128 uh, gig model here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Yep, so this is it, the uh, the OnePlus 5. Um, very flat look here, I, it's very sleek. I am i can't even use words. All right, this is a very nice looking device, very sleek, uh, flat, flat, flat black on the back here. Uh, we've got our shiny front. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is very nice. Um, however, uh, it is worth noting that it does look very, very similar to the uh, iPhone 7 Plus or 7, whatever, all right. Uh, all right, what's in here? Got our SIM tool and a quick start guide. Not a whole lot going on there. And then, uh, ooh, shot on OnePlus. Oh my God. So we got a little, little note here and our very fat um, AC adapter, which is a uh, DAS charging enabled. And then we have got our very brightly colored USB-C cable there. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So yeah, this is the uh, the OnePlus 5. Let's go ahead and uh, fire up here and see what we got. Come on, all right. So uh, yeah, we've got our uh, fingerprint reader on the front here and this is uh, just a scanner. It's not an actual physical button. Looks like a power and lock button here on this side, as well as our SIM tray. And then over here we have got a little switch. I think this is a sound and a vibration switch. And then we've also got our volume rocker. 
On the back here, we've got our dual lens cameras. Uh, my understanding is this does have a uh, telephoto lens and a wide angle lens. This is all one piece here. You can't actually remove the, uh, the back cover. There's no removable battery or any of that stuff, which we're pretty used to by now. Uh, and here we are on our welcome screen. Let's just go ahead and get started. This is running Android 7 uh, with the uh, very minimal Oxygen OS running on top of that. As is tradition, we're gonna go ahead and skip through some of this stuff here. All right, so here we are on our home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and um, rattle off some of the specs that we're dealing with here. On the front here, we do have a five and a half inch AMOLED full HD display with two and a half D Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And our front camera here is a 16 megapixel F2.0 aperture camera. Meanwhile, on the back, we do have a uh, 16 megapixel main camera with an f1.7 aperture, and our telephoto lens is uh, 20 megapixels with a f2.6 aperture. Now under the hood, this is running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor with an Adreno 540 GPU. Being that this is the 128 gigabyte model, we've got uh, eight gigs of RAM running there. Uh, keep in mind, there is a 64 gig model that has uh, six gigs of RAM. And powering all this, we do have a 3300 milliamp hour non-removable battery, which is DAS charge compatible. And then on the bottom there, we do have our USB-C uh, port, uh, and we do have a headphone jack, which is nice. Uh, unfortunately, no uh, stereo speakers, it doesn't look like, just the bottom facing speakers here. Now, OnePlus is boasting this as their thinnest flagship at just 7.25 millimeters thin. It is very noticeably thin. Um, I don't think they went uh, too overboard with it the way Motorola did by gutting things like the headphone jack and, and completely making this just paper thin. Um, but it is thin and it does have a really nice feel to it. Now, like I said before, this is not an actual mechanical button. This is just a, a fingerprint scanner, uh, but it is a ceramic fingerprint scanner. Um, and OnePlus says that it can unlock your phone within 0.2 seconds. So we'll see how that pans out in usage. Now, my experience with uh, OnePlus is kind of limited, but I've heard good things about the Oxygen OS and just taking a look at it right now, um, it does look very nice. Um, again, everything here does look very minimal. Ooh, access your contacts, sure, why not? Um, everything here does look very minimal, I'm pretty, pretty to the point. And I like the color scheme that we got going on here. So I'm very excited to be using this device, um, especially hot off the heels of the announcement. Um, I was really excited about what they had done with the uh, OnePlus 3 and the 3T. Uh, so I have high hopes for this device. Now, one thing of note is the price. Um, OnePlus has always been known for bringing a premium device with a not so premium price tag. Um, and that's interesting because the price has climbed a little bit with this particular iteration. Uh, this device in particular, the 128 gig variety is running $539, uh, while the 64 gig version is uh, $479. So still not quite up to that $700 or $800 flagship price tag, which is nice um, but it is a, a little bit higher there so something to take note of um, I haven't heard too many complaints about that though and if they can deliver the experience to back it up you know I, I don't really see a problem with that while we're here let's go ahead and um, actually let's take a look at some of these cases that we got here um, hmm, I like this one let's uh, let's throw this guy on here and see, see how this looks this guy off here. Oh yes, this is very nice. Yeah, it's got a very nice, um, sort of a rubberized finish there. A really nice feel, not, not too slick. So yeah, I like that. Super nice. Well, I think that about does it for this one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more, including my full review for this device, which should be up hopefully soon. Um, are you excited for the OnePlus 5? Were you around, uh, were you in one of the bigger cities that had the, um, the pop-up experiences where you could buy the phone early? I kind of want to know what your experience is with that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, once again, my name is Kent for TalkAndroid.com.